So I'm Dr. Charlie Ferrer and I'm talking to you about having cancer. Um, I would say cancer is one of the scariest things that you can have. Um, it's mind boggling, it's life changing, it's where you will find where your friends truly are. Um, sometimes you will provide the diagnosis and, and share your diagnosis with a friend and never hear from them again. And that's kind of sad, especially if you've been close. But that has nothing to do with you, them leaving. That really has to do with them. Um, I'll give you an example. I know when my grandmother was sick with cancer, I got to the point where I didn't want to see her as she was deteriorating. I didn't want to have to watch how people treated her or argue with them. And I wanted to remember her the way I had always envisioned her, this strong, beautiful woman that would always be there for me. Um, so towards the end, I decided and I spoke with her and I said, I just, I can't see you continue to deteriorate. And she told me not to visit her in the hospital anymore because she also wanted to keep that memory of her alive in me. And so I can understand now when other people decide that they can't be around me or they they don't want to talk about my diagnosis or even if they do and they get a little bit overboard. Um, I know for my son now, he's in that same mode that I was in with my grandmother of him not being able to discuss my cancer and not wanting to talk about it, not wanting to acknowledge it. He will ask me, hey, how are you doing? Are you feeling okay? Um, but beyond that, we don't discuss it. And that's okay. I understand that because he let me know that the idea of me not being around in his life was just too much for him. So I honor that peace with him and I decide to have a better life with him and a better communication on the things that we do. So for you, when you have individuals in your life that either leave, stay, or perhaps aren't the way that you want them to be or aren't as encouraging as you want them to be, consider the fact that they might be terrified in their own way and they just don't know what to say. Also, consider the fact that maybe they shouldn't be in your lives and you need to break that relationship, especially if it's not healthy. But most of all, decide for yourself what it is you want and how it is you want to interact with them. Give them an in, give them an out. And most of all, do what's right for you. I'm Dr. Charlie Ferrer with just a few comments on cancer and having cancer. If you want any information about the programs that I host and the projects that I'm working on, please feel free to go to my website, www.cancertamer.org and talk to us, give us a message and tune in for next time.